The objectives tonight are to review the previous steps of the sales cycle that we have already covered. And we'll take a second to do that. And then we are going to uh, learn something new. What we're gonna learn from that is called the inspection, which this for us is synonymous with the presentation. This is where you're like talking to them about what we actually do, pest control, answer their questions, ask questions. We're gonna give you the process. Um, this is where like the real sale is happening, right? So this is like the on door for us. It's, this is the fun part. Um, and part of that is creating need, value, and urgency. And those are like the, the ingredients that are that need to be in a successful inspection. So that's what we're going to be covering tonight. Part one is the yeah. yeah. So this is the sales cycle that we've been working through. Um, you can see up here we have your initial approach. It's going to be like the first thirty seconds get them just on the door, um, and then you're going to incite a response. Um, from that inside response, they'll give you several uh, questions or objections that you'll need to answer or overcome and kind of read, go into getting that how much that we talked about. After you receive the how much, then you work in their backyard and team group presenting. Um, step and that's what we're covering today and then from that presenting you're going to close it so perfect so we're going to review this so this is what uh it's kind of more granular granular into what parker was just talking about but so the initial approach is just this first two parts here so the first step of the initial approach is to do a name drop why do we do a name drop early like when the door comes open why is one of our first moves or our very first move? Why is it a name drop? What's the what's the why? Yeah, Clinton. It's better than trust or something. Yeah, or credibility, yeah. credibility, trust. Um, a lot of times, if they know that you're working with someone in their neighborhood, that's huge. So when there's like this fight or flight thing really early on, and you're trying to like disarm that. So sometimes this might be just your own name, like, hey, how's it going? I'm Parker, I work with X company, and I'm doing work, and I'm gonna give them some names that I work with, if I have them, right? Uh, or it can even be a street name. Like if I'm working on a street and I don't have any customers that are close to me in proximity, it might be like, hey, how's it going? I'm Parker, I'm with Point, I'm doing work on Willow Creek Street, and that's my name drop. Then I'm gonna engage them with a question, this is a really good question we like to use. Is, has anyone been by to let you know what's going on? And um, the main goal with this question is just to kind of engage them and get them to be like, no, what's up, right? You're just trying to pitch an open ear with like your meat and potatoes section, which is this. And so this is just trying to open up their ear. And then this section, this is an important part. This is where you're kind of like putting the hook in the water, right? And right here, there's one of two options you can go with. The default one that we like a lot, that I would use all summer long, I'll be honest, if it were me, is perfect. My trucks are in the area doing pest control work. Just wondering who you have coming out this year for your home. And that tees them up to feel like they should have someone if they don't. And if they don't, then you can roll right into this. Perfect, my trucks are in the area. If we can pitch you in, I can do your home for super cheap or for about half off. Okay, any questions on that? Sweet, who wants to show us the work they've been putting in with some with some practice? Let's have someone come up and, and try their hand. Yeah. 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 Isaac. Hmm? Isaac, let's do it. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna I get. It. I have a right to say. Yeah, when you grab some slicks or whatever you were using in there, um, just the initial approach and inside the okay. I think there's some clipboards too back over here. You can see them. Yeah. 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 Hey, how's it going? It's going great. How about yourself? Doing good. Doing good. Good. I just finished up work with David. Did he mention I'd be stopping by? Um, no, he has no work going on. Okay. No worries. My trucks are just in the area servicing several homes. Uh, who do you have taking care of you, bud? 
Um, we actually don't have anybody coming out. Okay, perfect. Yeah, like I was saying, we're already going to be out here. If I can fit you in, we're doing it for super cheap. Okay, cool. And how much is that? Nice job, didn't you? That was great. Good money, dude. That was awesome. What did you guys uh, pick up on? What did he do well? That was really good. I like his head nod. The head nod. Yes, sir. Yeah, body language, nonverbals. That was awesome, man. What else? Simple. Yeah, stayed really simple. Not too many words. Just stayed with the stayed with the pitch. Made sense, right? Um, good job, man. That was really really good. Cool. Okay, we'll move on to the next little review section here. I'm gonna throw it all up. You can kind of cover it all. You want me to cover all of it? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's great. Cool. Um, based on my answer to where Isaac ended, um, typically the customer, the person on the doorstep, is going to give you a couple different responses. Um, so these are the responses that we've covered so far. It was going to be your how much, what are you trading for, not interested, and switch over. Um, switch over. They're just going to be. Um, they'll have a company and they'll they'll drop that to you. So. Um, to start, I'll read the how much one. Um, it's going to start with, great question, what's the square footage of your home? They're going to tell you, they're going to say, perfect. I just need to do a quick inspection around the outside of the home, and I can shoot you a free quote. And then you're going to take a step towards the left or the right, towards whatever way you think their gate is, and you're going to place your gate on the left or the right. I'm going with that. Um, so what are you trading for? Any, any questions on that one? You're asking them what, what their square footage is. Um, you're telling them you, you just need to do a quick inspection around the outside of the home to give them a quote, and then you're kind of like closing for it, like assuming that they're, they're good with that, right? Um, last thought before you get into the yes. next one is just that, again, this, this I, I like to use this analogy of like a mechanic, um, like a, at a car shop, right? If I ask how much is this gonna cost, um, their next move is gonna be, cool, yeah, let me look under the hood, right? Like I need to inspect. I need to look at this to be able to give you a price. And that's the same game we're playing here. So they ask how much, I'm gonna assume that they're cool with me, like doing what I need to do to give them a quote. So you might read this closed here and be like, ooh, that feels like kind of assumptive and um, salesy or whatever. But like, if they ask how much they're interested and you, like it warrants you assuming that they're um, wanting an inspection to get a quote. Just, so. just going off of that, just really quickly, what I found that most first year reps like to throw in and change about this is they'll say, perfect, if I could do a quick inspection. Mm -hmm. um, and that's now you're asking them to do an inspection, but they've already asked you how much. So that's why you, it's really simply like, I just need to do this. Um, and that definitely um, just comes a lot or comes across a lot clearer. Um, to the customer, so Love it. that's my two cents on that. But um, the next one is, what are you trading for? Um, this one um, is honestly super, super simple, but there is some body language um, techniques that go into this. Um, so Parker's gonna be my customer, and as I go through it, I'm just going to like do what I would do with my body. You can use this. Yeah, that'd be great. So, what it's gonna look like, and I'll just show it. Um, what's it, what it's gonna say is, great question, let me show you. Um, and then you're going to break um, the distance between you and the customer. And then after you show them the bug chart, you're gonna say, we take care of all the dental pests in your area. What do you use me the most of? So, um, what, are you, what are you treating for? Yeah, great, great question, um, let me show you. So I'm gonna come shoulder to shoulder with them. Yeah, we treat for all the dental pests in the area. Um, what have you typically seen in the past? Yeah, we get um, ants. We have them in the kitchen. Awesome. We yeah, we ants. We definitely do. Yeah, we definitely take care of those. And if we could pick you in while we're out here, we could definitely get some sweet sweet deals. How much? Yeah, great question. Cool. So he's see how he's like again. You're like pushing them back to get that how much. You're trying to create that like flow chart back to the how much. So every time you get to end of the end of one of these, and there's like that, like what do I do next? You're trying to get him back. To, he closed with that, like um, trying trying to create that how much, right? 
Um, I guess to open up to you guys, what did you guys notice about the body language um, aspect of that? Like, where was I at what points? Like, you're trying to like keep your distance, but like you're not shooting each other, asking them to meet you. Definitely, I think that's really, really well said. Yeah, so I asked, I asked, what are you treating for? And then he goes, good question, let me show you. So he takes, when I ask the question of like, you know, I'm curious, he takes, he gives himself basically permission right there to like just kind of come in next to me, which is super natural and um, that helps a lot. Like getting next to them, showing them stuff. Um, that's a that's that's an important piece to this uh, predictable response. So, any questions on this predictable response on the what are you trading for? So th these cues come a lot, man. Like you'll get a lot of people that because of our pitch, they'll ask how much is it, right? Maybe twenty percent of the time, like you'll get it a decent amount. And when you do, you love it. But this one also we love because it means they're curious, they're open minded. Um, so be be ready for these two responses for sure. The next two we we do love um, just because we have an opportunity still to be from the, the self board. Um, the next one, not interested. Um, that one is going to be no worries. Just so you know, some of your neighbors have been seeing a little little bit of pest activity, so they're taking advantage of the discount. When was the last time you had your home professionally serviced? Um, can we have somebody show this one? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. There any volunteers to show? Let's do another one from the top, and then on this one, I'm going to give you this objection. So we're literally telling you what you're going to get. Um, but yeah, let's let's have another person up. Who wants to do it? Dave, come on, Dave. Let's do it. Tyler, Tyler's ready. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler. Thanks, dude. Give him the spanner. Okay, should I? <laughs> cool, so this is for um, I, I can do it. Yeah, I'll switch. Yeah, I'll switch. Hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. Just could this stuff work next door with Dave? Dave, can you mention what's going on today? Um, he didn't. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, this stuff really in, so I'm taking care of him and about 20 other neighbors for the pest control. So mm -hmm. I'm just wondering who you have coming out for that. Um, we actually don't have anybody from that. Oh, perfect. Um, and just to let you know, while we're here, if I can pitch in, give me like half. Yeah, I, I really respect that, but I'm just not interested. Yeah, no, totally. Just to let you know, a couple of the neighbors have been seeing a few things popping up, and friends were already here. If you have some friends, they just need to see. Awesome. Cool. And uh, how much was that? Yeah, great question. Nice. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Way good, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Good work, dude. That was sweet. Yeah. What did you guys notice? What did you do right? Nothing that Parker said phased him. He knew exactly how to you know roll with punches for people. Yeah. I think I think sometimes when you get these this one, this one, they can make you a little bit more nervous. You see, a, you have a tendency to speed up or to over empathize with them. And he just kept really, he just kept the same speed, you know, over empathize. Um, so, yeah, I thought it was a really good stuff. That was good. Any other takeaways from that one? Cool. I think, yeah, what, just like to that point, like if you, again, if you come in the summer and you know, like, okay, what do I say if the customer says not interested? Like Tyler's obviously done this before, and so he's just like, um, he has a good response for it, right? And uh, you'll close sales. I promise you, like, first couple of days, you will get sales if you know a good empathy statement, a good tailored response, and then a good close um, for each objection. So well, let's switch over and then we'll move on. Okay, awesome. I'll go ahead and read that. Um, uh, with the switch over, just one thing I guess to know before I read it. Um, if you are using the um, insight of response where you're saying, yeah, we're just out here doing the pest control, who do you have come out? Um, the reason why you're doing that is because we're going to be selling in traditional markets and we want to understand if they have a company early on in the sell. And so the way that we have this tailored right now rolls really, really well with that. So if you do use that as your primary insight response, like this is going to be a, like a bread and butter uh, thing for you. Um, yeah, so what that is going to be is totally, it's a great idea to have somebody coming out 
uh, to increase your home. And that is if they haven't told you that already. And then you're going to ask them, how long has that individual been coming out? Um, and then after they tell you that, you're going to say, just so you know, a ton of the a ton of people are jumping on with us because we are local and doing a lot more for a better value. Um, I want to ask, um, why do you think we ask who is treating their home and how long have they been coming out? Like what two bits of information would that give you by asking those questions? Hopefully they want to say, how long have they been coming out? I mean, I can have a feel of how it's gotten through in the past year or so because can't say for sure I mean what would be like so just to just to nail that thought because yeah. you're you're barking up the right tree with that but yeah. it um if they've signed a contract in the last year then yeah it can be dicey but been treated in the last year they will have probably been treated in the last year because um they the other companies are probably servicing them once a season or once a quarter, similar to how we are. So it's very normal for them to have been treated within the year, but if they've signed a contract, that's the verbiage you want to understand on that. Yeah. But thank you for saying that, because yeah. I, I think everyone needs to understand that. Yeah. So and pest control contracts are one year long, 99% of the time. And if they've been treated in the last year, that's no big deal. Sometimes they, like, dude, there's some savages in this room that I know of that do a lot of switchovers that, uh, like, if, even if they were treated a week ago, they'll like we can convince them that they they should switch so but yeah they're they, they need to be out of contract in most cases so yeah. sorry you had another thought you were yeah well, what was the other one yeah and then the other one is who do you have coming out um i think just like understand the, like in which point because it's like if it's a big company like mossy or something it's a McDonald's of yeah. companies. <laughs> like, That's a good just analogy. so you know, like you can really focus on that local one and your customers will really push. Yeah. 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 So yeah. So by knowing what company they have, you're going to be able to tailor your response to what is going to suit them um, best. A lot of the competition will face are bigger um, companies like Sherman Oaks and Palo Chains and some other door to door companies, but. Um, it is nice to be able to go down that route with like companies and stuff. I'm going to show this real quick. So switch over. I'm just going to show it, and then we're going to move on to the piece tonight, which is the inspection. So cool. okay. So um, from the from the top, I'm just going to show a review of the inspection. Okay. Cool. Hey, how's it going? Hey, good. How are you? Good. Awesome. Hey, I'm just starting up work here on Willow Creek Street. I'm doing work with uh, Bob and some of your neighbors. Okay. Has anyone been by to let you guys know what's going on? No, don't say anything. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I do the pest control for Bob and about 20 homes in the neighborhood. Okay. I was just curious who you guys have coming out this year for the for the bugs. Um, yeah, I think we have um, I think it's called Moxie coming out. Yeah, awesome. It's smart to have someone. You have to have to have someone out here. Yeah. How long have they been doing this? Uh, they've been doing it for like two or maybe three years now. I'm not 100 sure. Cool. Um, just so you know, I'm with Point. Um, I have had quite a few people jumping on board with us. Uh, main reason is we're local, and then we just seem to be doing a lot more for a better price. Okay. Um, if you'd be willing to give me a shot or try something different, um, I would be willing to do it for two to three. Okay. Yeah, totally. How much is that? What's the square footage of the home? Yeah, it's like 2,000 square feet. Perfect. I just need to do a quick inspection around the outside of the home, and then I can okay. give you a free quote on that. Oh. Do you have a gate on either side? Yeah, just on the left. Yeah. Cool. If you want to meet me in the back, that'd be great. Cool. Sounds good. Sweet. <laughs> what do you guys like about Parker's thing? Um, it's a lot slower than I like. Even like when he says like slow it down to me, like I slow it down, but like he really slows it down, but it still sounds really natural. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. There. Uh, a lot of times, because they have that fight or flight thing that I was talking about, um, they're not hearing information as quickly as you think, if that makes sense. Like you, you have to slow it down. The best reps that I know of, they, they slow it down because um, you want to give that customer a chance to listen. Because a lot of times, they got so many thoughts going in their head, like, is this, am I safe? What's really happening here? This random person's at my house. And they're just not picking up a ton of information. And so slowing down can be uh, solid. So good, good observation. 
what maybe one or two more thoughts like on the switch over piece just like this framework how it works I like okay. the phrase if you like want to give us a shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is kind of not nonchalant. Like, if you are willing to give us a shot, I yeah. like that a lot. It's not yeah. businessy. Yeah, per se. I I really like that phrase for DIY and switchovers. Mm -hmm. Give us a shot. Yeah, if you will, if you were willing to give me a shot, or if you're willing to give me a try, because DIY and switchovers they have their thing and they feel kind of married to it mm -hmm. and like you're just asking for a chance, you know, like, um, and that's, the, that's like the psychology, I think, of that type of a sale. So, okay, we're going to move on. Yeah. Sorry, one more thought, and then we'll move um, on. You didn't say, like, you didn't really ask them if you can show the, the, if you want to move them around the back, and just kind of says, be on the left, the right side for the inspect and, and two holes. Um, yeah. I just wanted to show it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, being assumptive is important. We'll take one more. Sorry, Seth. <laughs> So, I don't know, I just want to say your, your inspect is really clear, um, it's neat the way you want to get to. Yeah. Um, I also like the why it comes from a distance, um, I also like that part, that you try something different to try and you know, yeah. try and fit. Yep. Cool. Oh, cool. Good job, Marcus. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's the inspection. So inspection is a, a super fun part of the sale. This is where you get to like be yourself, connect with the customer. Sometimes on the porch, it will feel a little bit like I'm saying the same thing all day because you're trying to create those predictable responses, right? Like those four uh, ways this thing can go that we showed on that last slide, there's a lot of beauty in like filtering it to where it can only go one of those four ways. So it is going to be somewhat like you're doing the same thing. But then when it gets to this part, there's still a framework. You're definitely still wanting to like keep it predictable and keep it in the framework. But this part's fun because like people buy from people that they like and trust. And like, this is where you get to kind of like be yourself, introduce yourself. Um, sometimes like small talk comes up and you kind of like, you keep coming back to this framework. But I guess the main thought just to introduce inspections or presenting is like, be yourself. Like you guys are all, unique, cool people, and you'll sell a lot of accounts if you'll just be yourself. But you can take that too far, like you gotta stay in the framework if you're selling pest control and you don't make a ton of money by just like making homies out there, right? You gotta make homies and make sales. <laughs> so this is it, join you in the backyard or they come with you. Um, obviously it will not be a very productive um, inspection if you're like by yourself. There will be an, some exceptions where like it's raining really hard and they don't want to come out. And so you're like, you tell them you just do a quick walk around and then you'll come back to, to them. Sometimes they'll be like in a wheelchair or old or something like that. But I would say 80 to 90% of the time, you really want them to come out and meet you out there so that you can have a chance, right? To build need, value, and urgency. So have them come, you want to introduce yourself. Um, shake their hand, the fist bump thing is kind of a COVID pivot but we're done with the <laughs> yeah COVID never happens um ask a couple uh ask a couple important questions so these two questions are not just get to know you questions they are but they're also very intentional okay so i read these two questions real quick and then and then maybe just like um raise your hand if you have an idea why we would use these two specific questions so how, the questions are if you're online, how long have you been in the home? How long have you been in the area? Have you ever had a professional service before? Those are the two questions we're gonna lead with every time. Why those two questions? Yeah, Courtney. So to know like what type of service you're gonna be doing for them. Yeah, yeah, to tailor it, like to know how to tailor it. Yeah. That's a great thought. What else? If they've had a professional service before, we know what it is and how it works. Yeah, like if you're, if they have a service, then you can kind of get into it, like brass tacks, like you know the drill. Then you know, uh, uh, in some of our markets, in a lot of our markets now, they're pretty traditional pest control markets, and so people kind of they know pest control, but there are some markets that are like really, uh, like New Hampshire. I'll be honest, like they're not everyone has pest control. It's very like far north and it's kind of cold for part of the year. Like it's just, it depends on the market that you're in. 
So some some doors it might be like, yeah, I've never had this done, right? Like I don't even know anything about pest control. Others other doors might be like, yeah, I've had three different guys over the twenty years I've been here. I know I know the drill, you know. So that these are questions that can be really helpful. So you ask these questions, and then you're going to use these things, um, or you're going to use things that you see and information that you gather here to build need, value, and urgency. Um, la I guess last piece before the next slide is like, you're, when it comes to the body language on the inspection, I just want to speak to it real quick. So let's say like the home is here, like you guys are the home and me and, and Parker's the homeowner and I'm kind of meeting him around back. He comes out of the sliding door or whatever. We're gonna meet, I'm gonna shake his hand. I'm gonna be like, hey, how's it going? I'm Parker, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Parker as well. Perfect. Actually. Cool. Um, yeah, Parker, how long have you guys been in the, in the area? Uh, we've been here for about 10 years now. Okay, awesome. And have you had a service since you've been here in the in the home? No, no we haven't. Okay, how long is it? Uh, we've been in this place for about four years. Okay, you've been here for about four years, sure. Yeah. So like, that that's it, right? And so we're meeting here, I'm gonna use his home as like kind of like the canvas. So like as I'm talking and as I'm trying to build need, value, and urgency, I'm gonna like use his home to, to do that. And that's the whole purpose. That's why we call it an inspection. Is you get to use their home. So if you find bugs, you can use it on their home. If you don't, but it like there you will learn things about certain types of homes that you can kind of like use in building need value urgency even if they don't you don't see bugs if that makes sense so i'm gonna like plant myself and, and i might be looking as i'm like circling the home i might be like looking for for bugs right like i might be like looking in their eaves do they have any wasp nests do they have spider webs on their lights do they have ants crawling around their foundation i know this stuff like i was from i'm from utah and i'm like i was like when i signed up to do this job first i was like dude i don't know anything about bugs when you have your pest control hat on and you're like in their yard and you're trying to make a sale, I promise you, like stuff's actually pretty obvious. Like you'll just see stuff and we will teach you what that means and stuff. But um, so you, as you're walking around their house, you're gonna learn, you're gonna look and use your senses and stuff. But then when you get to them in the backyard, you're gonna shake their hand like I did. And then you're kind of just gonna like plant and find a spot that feels comfortable. And you're just gonna like talk to them and again, use their home as the, as the canvas. Mm -hmm. So you're not like doing a whole lot of like walking around with them. Maybe a little bit if you saw something that you want to show to them, but at some point, like you're just kind of planting and using their home. Uh, any questions on that? Cool. Yeah, so we'll go to the next slide. So we're going to start with the need. Um, so how to build need. Just something too that I want to mention um, about planting in the same spot. I think that's really, really wise. And most of the time, like for me, like I'll introduce myself, ask a couple questions. And then at that point, if I did see something like an ant trail going up into the foundation, that's typically where I'm going to start with their need. And I'll take them there or introduce them, take them there. And then we'll naturally kind of gravitate back to where we started. And then that's kind of like where I like to have. A lot of people don't, especially if you're in a really hot location, People don't want to be ran, running around their yard. Yeah. You know, they kind of want to be in the shade and in the area that they can do it. So, yeah. just my two cents on that. But um, I can cover need. Um, so, your need is going to be um, either prevention or a current bug that they've been dealing with in their home or on the outside of their home. And so sometimes your need is going to be adjusted a little bit according to like what season you're selling in or what area you're selling in. Um, but the, um, yeah, kind of the two ways to start that is um, if they haven't um, mentioned seeing bugs, a lot of times, especially the markets we sell in, they do have bugs. So it's nice to mention the neighbor's experiences with bugs. And a lot of times that can draw out their issue with the bugs. Some people are more open with it, so they'll come out and be like, yeah, I have ants. Like, what, what do you specifically do to treat that? Then it's really easy to tailor to that. Um, so then if they do mention the ants, then you're just gonna specifically start talking about what you're going to do to treat those ants. Um, like I mentioned, show them the bugs um, on their home. 
some reps will have little vials and put you know a carpenter ant in it or a spider or little baggies and stuff. Um, that's kind of your own character and choice, I would say. Is that something yeah. that you've done a lot of in the past? Or? I don't do a lot of that, but I think that it can be a, a, an awesome way to get some lumber. Yeah, 100%. We um, will have a couple cell slips that you'll have during the summer. Um, one of those, like we've covered before, is like your bug sheet. But the other one is going to be a diagram of a home, as well as the, like the inside of the wall, um, the wall void, as well as like a um, utility room. Um, these are something, both of those slips are something I'll use almost every time in the backyard. Um, especially when I'm describing ants and spiders, I'll definitely be showing them the sign of the slip. So, Yeah, last thing I'll just say on meat is, um, who's ever heard of the phrase hot button? Like a hot button in sales. What is that? Kind of what they're going to bite on. Like it's like their thing that they're, yeah, them. it's their thing that makes them emotional, right? Mm -hmm. So pest control is an emotional sale. Like it just is. And a lot of times people buy because they're currently dealing with something or they don't want to deal with something in the future. But either way, it's kind of just like, I don't want to deal with that. And a lot of people are in that camp, honestly. So uh, last thing with the, the need is just like, find their hot button and just, you want to press it. So like if I come out and I'm the customer and I tell Parker I, I, I have ants or my wife hates ants, we have them in the kitchen, like that's my hot button and he didn't have to work super hard to find that, but he's gonna use that, right? Sometimes you have to find their hot button by asking questions, right? So sometimes in the need, there's gonna be some questions like, um, you know, when was the last time you guys had a home crib? Some of that stuff before was there, but then also I might be like, um, you know, what do you guys, what do you guys typically see here at your home? Oh, yeah, um, you see some of those little tiny ants in there, some spiders can fall. Perfect, yeah. So we do both of those, and we specialize in both of those, and we can definitely take care of that. And really, like, just by asking that one question, I found his hot button, and now I'm ready for the value, right, which is the next step. So the whole thing with me is just figure out, like, why should they buy pest control? That's it. Like, it's super simple. Any questions on that? So you're just gonna, you might show them something, you might ask them questions you're just trying to figure out why they would want to buy pest control can i can yeah. i just do one thing um, yeah i think um one of my like go-to follow-up questions is so i say hey how long have you been in the area 10 years um have you ever had a professional service before and if they do say yes typically i'm going to respond with okay awesome why didn't you have them out before um, they're like, oh, that year we had really bad ants. And I'd be like, yeah, that's typical for the area. Um, are you seeing those this year inside and outside? And then I've been discussing um, what the hot button is, whether they're going with that or another test. So that's money, actually. Like, if they've had pest control in the past, figure out the why, because that's usually what their hot button is that's in pest control. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. Okay, value. There are three things in value. Scope of service, this is like what the technicians do, okay? Obviously we're limited on, uh, limited on time tonight, so I'm gonna, we're gonna stay really simple with this, but um, ask your managers uh, to do a deeper dive with you on what our technicians do so you can explain that to the customer. But to stay really simple, and really this is like as simple as I stay, unless the customer wants to go deeper, is I just simply say, we are going to treat the foundation of the home a couple feet up and out around the whole base of the home. So I talked about the base treatment, the eaves. Eaves are, just so you know, they are the <laughs> thing that's underneath the roof line on a home. Um, Jake Borg, one of our this, owners. This right here. Oh yeah, perfect. Right there. Jake Borg, um, one of our owners has this super funny story. One of his rookies, one of the years that he was managing, for like half the summer, he was, the rookie was falling the eaves eaves. <laughs> and he was, was on the inspection to do it. The spider webs in your eaves. <laughs> They're called eaves, and you get a lot of times you get spider webs there or wasp wasp nests. Like uh, you won't get this out of your head now ever, but like if you go to a home, you look under their eaves. A lot of times they have in the summer they have little wasp nests. They put their nests up there. Okay, it's a real thing. Like all the time. Um, and then, so so we do the base, the eaves, and then we will spot treat the yard. Like we'll do some granulation sometimes in the yard for fleas and ticks, some of the bugs that get in the grass. We'll also include the interior, and that's it. Like that's literally as simple as you need to get with the service. You can cover what we do with, within like 10, 15 seconds with the customer. 
And a lot of times, because you found their hot button, ants, like which of those four or five things I just mentioned do you think helps with the ants? The base treatment. Yeah, the base treatment, right? Treating in the eaves isn't going to help a ton. Maybe out in the grass to keep them like from uh, getting up close to the house because they're like sources elsewhere. But like maybe the inside treatment and the, and the foundation. So I'm going to kind of focus my value presentation on that. So like if Parker's my customer and I'm like, this is a, let's show that the camera can, yeah, <laughs> like, this is, this this is, is the home. Yeah. Let's say, again, we, we've kind of planted here, Parker's kitchen's right here and he's getting ants. So I'm gonna be like, cool Parker, um, let me show you the slick actually that shows your wall. You have ants inside of your wall. That's what, that's how they work is they nest in there and then they come in for water. Okay. So, and your kitchen's right here. So they're probably literally like on the other side of this wall right now. So what we'll do, Parker, is we'll treat the foundation a couple feet up and out. And I like to kind of get like, like show them, you know, like up and out around the whole base of the home. And that'll really help because they'll kind of take it on their body up to the nest and you'll just get like, um, so that will make a huge difference with your ants. Okay. And then I might like do a quick little touch on like the eaves and the yard, but I'm mainly going to focus it on his ant thing, right? So that's the value for him. Another next part of value is just explaining how often we come. How often um, do, do most pest control services come in the country? It's on the slide, but what's the answer? Once per season. Why? Yeah, different bugs in different seasons. And the product only lasts like 90 days. So the best pest control products last about 90 days. So if we were to come in the summer and treat like the, in the hot months, when do spiders usually come? In the fall, when it gets cold. So if we just treat it in the summer, Mr. Bob DIY guy's like, I only want one time a year. Okay, Bob, well, we'll get the warm, you know, if you want the spider zone as well, this isn't gonna, this only works for about 90 days. So that's the whole idea with pest control in our industry is it, it once a season will make a huge difference on someone's health. So you're explaining that. That's the second piece of value. Last piece, this is super cool, but you get to tell every customer all summer long that if they hire you, then they get a guaranteed service. So if they see any bugs, they can call us back. We'll come as many times as we need to in between the four visits. So I'm literally telling the, like this is, I would tell Parker this basically the same way that I'm telling you right now. Okay? Okay, last thing is urgency. I'll cover that. What time is it? 8.45. Oh, we're good. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Um, urgency. So um, at the start of the <laughs> cell, when you go on the front door um, and you get the inside or response, one of your lines is, if I can get you in, then I can treat it home for half off. And you want to keep that theme in the backyard, right? If you're going to push that you only have a couple spots in the back and you get to the backyard and you're like, yeah, I mean, we can do it in a month, we can do it in a week, then that urgency is gone, right? And a lot of people are going to buy when it comes down to like the Black Friday discount recipe of um, meeting that urgency that there's limited supply and that this is discount going on. So the biggest thing that you can do um, after you've presented like your need and your value is to hold the urgency line. Um, a lot of people are busy, but they can make time for it. Um, a lot of people are busy on Thanksgiving, but they make time to go and do Black Friday stuff, right? So uh, make sure you hold the line that we're only in the area um, that day or if need be the next day if the route is full. And the cool part is about it um, is it's real. Like the urgency is a real thing. Like the next day we might as managers move you to a whole different city or a whole different area. And those cell techs, people, the, the technicians that are treating the home aren't actually going to be in that neighborhood anymore. Like we're going to be gone. And so filling up that same day as well as the next day are going to be like the only way that you get your get treatment during the summer. So the urgency actually really matters. Um, if um, yeah, I was just gonna say one thought. Not if one of my favorite things is when like, because sometimes you'll get customers that are like, um, like you can tell they almost like don't believe you on the urgency piece. 
but then we'll sometimes like we'll pick up and move to a different area and someone will call back and be like, hey, I'm in, we thought about it, we want it. And then you're like, well, we're not there anymore. <laughs> There's this weird dilemma because you want the sale, but you also are like, come on, count sand, man. <laughs> so sometimes like, it's just funny, like you'll get reps that are like, they, they're all in on this like urgency and like, it's gotta be when I'm in the area, you know, they get super, uh, like um, just like line in the sand on that, so the so the rep would be like, cool. Well, yeah, I quote you for discount. Like it's two hundred bucks now if you want to do it for the first. Like it's full price now, basically. You know, so it is true. Like there's an urgency piece to this, and you move you move areas, and you have our our start technicians move with us, and so you want to give off that vibe to the customer. Like I legitimately, um, I have a couple slots I'm trying to fill, and like. You want to take one of them? I'll do it for a, a deal. You know. Awesome. Um, there are situations or times where you will go on inspection, um, even though they haven't asked you like the how much yet. And I feel like a lot of times that does happen like with older people. But like grandma's just like, "Oh, come in! I have ants in my kitchen," and you're like, "Okay, you know." Or let me show you the wasp nest in the back, and then you're just moving all back, and they haven't asked you the like the question of like, "Oh, how much is it?" It is important to like get them to ask that at the end of like the sale. That way you have permission to then show them the price. Um, so pretty much what that looks like is after I've shown them everything, I'm gonna say awesome. Well, um, like I mentioned out front, I just have a couple spots, and if you're willing to give us a shot, I'd love to do it for cheap. Yeah. What do you charge? Yeah, yeah, I can kind of show you if I, if I were able to fit you in, this is what it would look like. Okay. And then I'd go into like the price stuff. Um, if they then have asked you, like if they ask you how much on the front door, um, you can go ahead and just say, cool, well, um, if I'm able to fit you in while I'm out here, I'd love to do it for cheap. Um, let me show you what that would look like, and then you're going to show them the price. Um, so yeah, if they haven't um, asked you how much, then you're going to want to draw that out near the end of the sale, so you have permission to show them the price. If they've already done that, then you can go ahead and just use the empathy statement of, um, yeah, if, I, if I'm able to fit you in, I'd like to do it for cheap. Let me show you what that would look like. Why do you think that's important for him to loop back and try to get that how much? Like, why do we want the customer to hear themselves ask, ask how much? Yeah? Well, it just signals, like, to themselves that they want. Yeah. Yeah. And if they said how much, like Parker worded it in a way where he's like, um, if I can fit you in in the next day or two while I'm out here, I could do it for super cheap. And they like leaned into that by saying how much. Like that's, they said how much to that whole package that Parker just like, um, you know, brought up, which is the whole like urgency was built into that. So you're just trying to always create that like um, feel where um, you, you, you want the customer to, to hear themselves saying how much to the to the Black Friday element of what we are doing, okay? Any questions on that? So would it be helpful to see an inspection just kind of like pieced together? Would that be helpful? I feel like we should do that. Okay, sure. Do you want to show it? Sure, let's okay. do it. So um, maybe... When you're doing this on Zoom, you're probably showing me, huh? And not the slides? Correct. So I was thinking, is there a way for them? Maybe we tell our Zoomers to pull up the slides um, and they can kind of thumb through it and go need, value, urgency. If you want to go in Slack, if you're on Zoom, they can just go I can Slack. pull up that slide and they can still see you in the corner. Yeah. Main thought on the, on the Zoomers is, um, and then maybe I'll have someone here drive this. Sam, you want to come up? Yeah. So for the people in person, as I'm doing this, uh, I'm going to start with need, and then as I finish through need, Tanner can drive through to the value and the urgency, so you can kind of see the rhythm of like what I'm doing on, on this. And you can do the same thing um, if you're on Zoom. Okay, so we'll, we'll do like a basically a full, let's just start from the top, a really simple one on the porch, and then we'll get into the backyard, and we'll just do kind of a full sale, and we'll just see how far we've gotten so far, okay? Awesome. Okay, so we'll start from the very top. And then he, Parker, can give me any of those four responses, right? Just review real quick. What are the four 
responses. Mm. Not interested, one of them? Switch over? Yeah, good. Awesome. Good stuff. Okay. All right. He's going to give you any of the floor. I'm going to roll with it. I'm going to get an inspection. And then we're going to we're gonna sell them. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. I like to be sold. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? Good. Good. I'm Parker. I'm with Point. I'm just going to be doing some work for your neighbor, Doug. Okay. If anyone's in by, I'll let you know what's going on. No, what, what's going on? Okay, yeah. So I do work for Doug and about 15 neighbors in the neighborhood. I was curious who you guys have coming out this year for the test report. Um, we actually don't have anybody coming out. Perfect. Um, my trucks, like I said, are going to be here the next day or two. And if I could fit your place in, I would do it for super cheap. Okay. Yeah, no, what are you doing for? Yeah, good question. Let me show you. Okay. Um, so in this area, we mainly do the little ants and spiders and wasps, things like that, just general pests. Mm -hmm. What do you guys typically see here? Um, we typically see some of the little ants and then some of the spiders. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we do all of that. And um, like I said, I'll be here anyway. If I could fix you and I'd do it for about half off for you. Okay, and what would half off be? Good question. What's the square footage of the home? Like 3,550. Perfect. Um, I would just need to do a quick inspection on the outside of the home for you, and then I could give you a free quote. Okay. Do you have a gate on either side of the yeah, house? Just on the other side. Cool, yeah. I'll, um, I'll take that, and then I'll just meet you in the back. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Can we just okay, so we'll keep going now. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Hey, I'm Parker, by the way. N nice to meet you. I'm Parker. Park. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, how long have you been in the home park? Um, just uh, about 15 years now. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. You've been here a while. Then. Oh, yeah. Do you like the neighborhood? Yeah, we really like it. A lot cool. of folks like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Have you had the home treated for like for the bugs since we've been here? Um, I think early on when we were out here, we did, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Um, cool. Well, like, as you mentioned on the porch, um, some ants, spiders, just kind of general stuff. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah nothing crazy. crazy. And nothing crazy, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, no one's like overrun out here with a bunch of issues. We're mainly just preventatively kind of taking care of homes. It's kind of an upkeep type of thing. Okay. Um, when you do get some ants and spiders, do you see them mainly just on the outside of the home or do they come in a little bit? Yeah, I mainly see the spiders on the outside, but my wife mentioned that she mentioned like those little ants. Uh -huh. I think they're ants, they're real tiny on the inside of yeah. like the kitchen. Okay, got it. Well, I'll show you one more thing. Um, we in those in the, with those ants in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, what happens is those ants get in like the inside of the walls, and then okay. they come in for like moisture and sugar, so they come into the kitchen and the bathrooms and stuff. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. So um, we can help with those, and then I can do the spiders as well. Um, what we do for that is um, we'll treat the exterior about three feet up and three feet out around the whole perimeter for those ants, and it'll make a huge difference. Uh, to kind of buff those out and then we'll do the spider webs in the eaves um we do a granulation in the yard that helps with the spiders as well to keep them off and away from the house okay and then we can also move the inside it's all real pet safe and kid safe and things like that um we'll see about about that but we yeah we can move the inside as well um, we do this about four times a year um just once a season is that like every four every three months yep yeah every three months uh, that's what we do for, we do a bunch of homes in here, like I said, and that's what we do for them. Cool. Um, and if you see anything in between the visits, you just call us, and we, we will actually come for free for you, because we don't want to see you. Okay. So that's like part of our deal. Nice. So, um, like I said, I'm going to be here doing um, your neighbors and a bunch of other homes, and if you um, if we could fit you in, I would do it for a big discount for you. Awesome. Uh, what, what does that look like? Yeah, let me show you what okay. that looks like. Cool. Cool. And then... We are done with this training. That's that's next training. We're gonna start. I do want to open it up. Um, what did you guys like about it? Did it feel natural? Did it flow? What's your take on the whole cycle? Well, she was good. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent long time, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like eight. How many years? Eight years. Eight years. Yep. Yeah. Pretty pretty crazy. Have you guys noticed what? Yeah, it's a great thing to hear. Yeah, focus on what you focus on. And you kind of you brought up with uh, hot weather, and you just kind of took it in on your trip and kind of made it nice. Nice. 
One thing I'll say on that though is like the, what brought up, so he's, he gave me kind of something to work with on the porch, right? Yeah. But what really pulled out his hot button is when I asked that question of um, when you're seeing, I think I said something like when you're seeing the bugs or the spiders or ants, are you mainly seeing them on the outside or the inside? And then he opened up like, yeah, my wife's been seeing the ants in the kitchen and I see these spiders and I'm out here. And then it's like, boom, the hot button came because I asked a good little question there, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love, that's a good thought. Love that. One one thing I would like just to point out, I think we can like segment cars out on inspection. Um, it's typically like your need is going to be like a, a problem that they're having, right? Or like a future problem they want to solve before it happens. Um, and then your value is going to be the solution to that problem, right? So the what what he did was like, okay, cool. Let me show you the problem. You have these ants in your baseboards. They're falling the pipes and getting into the kitchen. Like, let me show you how I'm going to fix your problem, right? I'm going to create the foundation three feet up and three feet out. And so that's typically like my mentality behind it is like, okay, let me show them what could be happening within their walls or what is happening within their walls. And then let me, let me show them how I can solve that issue, that pain point that they have. Yep. You know, good salespeople, they, that, they solve problems. Like you're going to get paid this this summer to solve as many problems as you can. The people that make six figures doing this, they just solve more problems than the people that don't, you know? Yeah. Uh, what I, I heard you say, um, you could kind of say it was like not the biggest problem in the end. You said it's mostly like an upkeeping thing. Is yeah. That, is there a reason you said that? Yeah, that's a really good question. And I said that mainly because I felt like I hadn't discovered a hot button yet. Mm -hmm. And he, I, he didn't feel to me super emotional about bugs. And, um, so sometimes I, yeah, I, I want to make sure that I'm not like making pest control too big of a deal uh, because a lot of people, for a lot of people, it's not. It is like a maintenance upkeep, keep like be a mature adult and take care of your home type yeah. thing. You will get some people, like you get a lady every once in a while that's just like, don't even show me that slick. I'm like, you know, she's like super emotional and you can kind of play to that. Like, um, yeah, like people hate bugs in here. Like, Everyone loves us. You're gonna love this too. Um, so anyway, I don't know if that's a, the best answer, but I was kind of just trying to like protect myself from being like, yeah, spiders are the worst, and he's like, yeah, I'm not that worried about it, man. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> never mind then. I yeah. know. I think too, like even on the front door, but especially in the backyard, there's gonna be a level of reading, like reading the individual that you're gonna have to do, like whether they are super emotional about the bugs, like you said, or not really. And if they are, play into it. If they're not, then play into what's in the garden of the front. So, no, but, no. Yeah, last piece on that, because I love that question again, is like, what's cool is you can sell people this summer that like aren't emotional at all about the bugs. Like, they're like, these bugs don't bother me. You can just sell them still because um, your, your positioning can just be like, that's cool. No one else is super worried about it either. We're just mainly doing this to just upkeep the homes and make sure that they stay nice. Um, so that's what like, I, the really best reps can sell a lot of accounts, like tailoring their message to the customer and like figuring out who they are. But that might be a little bit too deep for tonight, but the main message to just close this out on the inspection is if you need value urgency, keep it dumb, dumb, simple to start. Like, I know this felt kind of like a lot maybe, but keep it dumb, simple, like need what is the need like we're selling pest control they have bugs or they could have bugs in the future just like talk about that right value what we're going to do how we're going to get rid of it and then you're just going to remind the customer that like i'm not out here just giving out flyers like i'm trying to get trying to get some people on the on the schedule and uh, if you work with me on that then let me show you the price so it's really simple like this doesn't need to be this super long Sometimes people think inspection and it's like, bro, that's like, yeah, like I'm going to be out there like pulling up my sleeves and, you know, it's not, it's just very simple. Um, but yeah, any, any questions for either of us just to close this out tonight? Anyone, maybe from online or in person. So you can now see like, this is going to start to take some work, right? To like keep up on this. So keep putting in work with, with your manager. Um, you can do this with a lot of confidence. And when you get lost and you don't know where you're at with the inspection, again, need value urgency. 
if I'm like talking to Parker and I did those little questions to introduce myself, and I'm like, where do I go? Need. Have I have I solved if I found a need yet? And if he hasn't told me any need or if he doesn't seem like he's like got any needs, then I gotta find some needs. I gotta ask some questions. Like, cool, do you like bugs? Like, you know, you got needs. You want bugs in your house? Yeah, uh, there was a question online. Yeah. It was a while ago, sorry. Um <clears throat> Carter Dinning asks, if a home was recently treated, hmm. what would you do for the inspection? And yeah. what would you show the customer? Good question. I would make that inspection less about finding bugs, because I likely won't find a lot of bugs. If I do, I'm still keeping my eyes out, because if I do find bugs and the home is just recently treated, then like, boom, I'm jumping on that, right? But a lot of times they won't, you won't find bugs because the home is just recently treated. And so I'm making it less about... Um, I'm not going to be like showing a lot of things on their home. I'm honestly going to be trying to like be, be really likable with that customer and find places where we can just add to what they have going forward. Um, so sometimes, yeah, it was just treated and yeah, the home looks good, but like there is something they're not doing that I can do. And that's going to get found out by asking questions and having a conversation. So those are some high le higher level sales though. That's going to be more tricky, but cool. Parker, you get off and then that was fun. Thanks for coming. <laughs>